guys, so it's monthly favourites time, this being the fast approaching end of the month of July and I have lots of amazing things I want to share with you this month so I'm just going to jump straight into it. First things first, television and film and for the first time in a couple of months I do have a film I want to share with you guys and that is Mr Holmes which is the new Sherlock Holmes film starring um, Sir Ian McKellen. I saw this film in the cinema and it had been ages since I'd been to the cinema. If, you know when you don't go to the cinema for a while and then you do see a film in the cinema? You just realise how nice it is to see a film in the cinema. Like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like seeing a film in the cinema just almost, like, adds an extra star to the film. Um, as long as it's a decent film to start with. And this one was. So, love Sherlock Holmes, as you know, and I absolutely love um, Ian McKellen. So, I was super excited to see him play um, Sherlock Holmes. I can't really see the film being for um, people new to Sherlock Holmes because it's not really purely a mystery. And actually, the mystery is kind of quite a small part of it. It's more about Holmes and... Um, Holmes is now in his 80s or 90s and lives in the countryside and um, keeps bees and has stopped like solving mysteries and basically he's losing his memory and he's trying to recall the final case that he undertook before he retired and it's quite a sad film, it's, it's actually a very sad film but also a happy film, like it's not just like constantly sad but it's quite emotional especially if you're already connected to the character of Sherlock Holmes and I just love Ian McKellen as an actor. He Next is a television program that I absolutely loved and I watched the entire first season in two days and it is No Offence which is a British crime drama junior TV show on Channel 4 and I ended up watching it after Lorna from um, The Books and the Bees recommended it to me and I actually think a couple of other people may have suggested it as well but um, she was the first person to um, and I'm so so grateful it was so good if you love like your gritty British crime mystery dramas this program is fantastic it has lots of actors in it that I already really like and it combines two excellent things it has a overarching mystery throughout the entire season but each episode also has its own individual like crime to solve and I cannot wait for the second season. Now for the book of the month that is my favourite, I have to admit it is Tom Holt in your dreams. This is a sequel to Portable Door which was actually a favourite a couple of months ago and I love this just as much. I was a little bit wary going into it because I loved the first one so much. Um, this being the sequel I was like I don't know if it's going to be as good but I did. I ended up absolutely adoring it. I finished it last night. Love it! Can't recommend more highly checking out Tom Holt's work if you enjoy comic fantasy, magic realism, kind of tongue-in-cheek, unwilling hero kind of thing. It's so good, so good. This category this month is politics and it's strange to have a favourite <laughs> within the category of politics because usually everything that's going on in the world super depresses me. Something that has kind of like given me a little bit more faith in politics and the left and just like cheered me up a little bit this month is Jeremy Corbyn's candidacy for Labour leadership. Um, you might know in the UK that the Labour Party are obviously looking for a new leader. One of the candidates is Jeremy Corbyn and Jeremy Corbyn is just so fantastic. I mean, no politician is perfect, probably not going to agree with everything they say, but it has been such a long time since there's been a politician with a good chance of getting in power that I've actually really admired. And, and Jeremy Corbyn is like securely on the left and he represents like normal people and He's what I feel like Labour should be and what Labour originally was before Tony Blair. I just feel like for everybody that feels like the Labour Party let them down, Jeremy Corbyn is like a chance to get back a party that represents the left and represents normal people unlike the Conservative Party, like the Labour Party should be an alternative to the Conservatives and I feel like if Jeremy Corbyn wins then it will be. The leadership election isn't till August and September, so I don't know if he'll win yet, but I think it's just a really amazing thing that he's even one of the candidates. And um, just to let you know, if you um, join the Labour Party before the 12th of August, then you too can vote on who will be the leader. Yes, that is one of my favourites. For internet related things, which is my next category, I have a YouTuber I want to mention, and she's not actually a particularly small YouTuber but I only just subscribed to her this month and I'm really enjoying her videos and that is Helen Anderson and she is like a beauty and fashion guru and also a musician and I just had never watched her videos before I think I ended up going onto her channel through a collab video she did with 
um, Hazel Root Chewing Sand and just really, really like her. You know when you just like take to a YouTuber and I really like Helen. I love her attitude and I love her fashion sense and I would highly recommend checking her out if you haven't already. The next thing is a app, so not so much a YouTube or internet thing, but a, I mean, you need the internet to use it. And it is a phone app and it is Voxer. I am so amazed by Voxer. Like, I can be quite slow on the uptake with technology and new apps, but I was introduced to Voxer this month. I've been using it to have like really fun group conversations with other booktubers um, about books and just about life and I've been so enjoying it. It's been such a great way to like keep in contact with people. I just think it's such an amusing app. So essentially it's a voice recording app where you have like a group chat or you can have a chat between two people and you can send text messages. You can also send pictures and links, but you can also send, which is kind of the main use of it, voice recording. So you just like hold down a little button and record yourself saying whatever you wanted to say and then somebody can reply. So it's almost like a phone conversation, but slower. So moving on, my next category is kind of like cosmetic-y, fashion-y things. One thing I wanted to mention this month was a soap and it is a soap I got from Lush and I've got it in this tin, so I'm just gonna show you it like this. Obviously cut it into pieces so it would fit into my tin better. It just smells like purely of lemon, like nothing else, which is my ideal scent. I absolutely just love citrus smells. And it is very simply, pretty much just like a lemon soap. There's very little else to it. Now I'm forgetting the name off the top of my head, but I'll write the name and maybe like link the product down below just in case. But basically I got it because it's good for oily skin. Now I have body acne. I have quite bad body acne, no shame here, but it does mean I have very oily skin on my body, not just my face. Acne's not as bad as it was when I was younger. And it's definitely like, I think more of my issue now is scarring than it is actual acne, although it's still quite greasy. And I got that for that type of skin, sort of scarred, greasy, acne prone skin. And I love it. It really just makes me feel clean and fresh and it really feels like it's cleaned my skin. But then also like once you wash off the soap, it feels so like matte. It just feels like it absorbs all of the oil on my skin. And then I feel like I've used such a simple, pure, like natural product to do that and I absolutely love it. And my last favourite is the summer sales. I have been going sale shopping since the sales started and I'm going to show you a couple of my favourite things that I've got in the sale because they might still be around and you can maybe get them. Um, and one of those things is this scarf which I got from Misguided. I think it was like five pounds. I absolutely love it. It's just a really nice summer into autumn scarf, like really go with a lot of things. Most of my scarves are quite bright coloured so it's quite nice having one that's darker in the black and white with just a bit of blue. Uh, this jacket, now the jacket is just like a little simple, not crop, just like regular length jacket and it's from Monsoon. And it was half price and I have been looking for a jacket like this forever. I wanted a really nice little patterned jacket, no lapels, do you know what I mean? That you can dress up, dress down and I love red. Um, I think red really suits me and I just think it's a lovely clothes colour. So I'm really happy to have this. It's like, you know when you just see something you feel like, that's like, I didn't know that's exactly what I wanted, but that is exactly what I wanted. It's been made for me. <laughs> my sale bargains this month have been making me very happy. They've been my kind of escape from dissertation writing. I've had like a little trip out and got some sale shopping and it's been really cheerful and kind of distracted me from the stress a little bit. So I wanted to share those with you guys as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and my very eclectic selection of favourites this month but until next time guys happy reading and I'll see you all again soon bye